This animation shows what a Foyt retarder can do, how it works, and most of all, which advantages it offers when it comes to reducing operating costs and increasing safety and driving comfort. See for yourselves. The Foyt Retarder 115CN is an offline retarder located on the left rear side of the transmission. The retarder is driven via a step-up gear train. The rotor is mounted on a shaft equipped with a gear. This retarder side gear is connected to the transmission side gear located on the transmission output shaft. This step-up gear train provides a gear ratio of approximately two. This means that one revolution of the prop shaft equals two revolutions of the retarder shaft, hence the rotor. This ratio allows smaller retarder dimensions with the same performance, but with reduced weight and therefore increased efficiency. The offline position of the retarder provides space on the opposite side of the transmission, which can be used for power takeoff interfaces. The Foyt Retarder 115CN is activated via a hand lever switch at the steering wheel or via the braking pedal. During this activation process, the electronic control unit of the retarder communicates with the vehicle brake management. How does a Foyt hydrodynamic offline retarder work? When activated via the hand lever switch and or the foot brake pedal, the retarder receives an electronic input signal from the retarder control unit. The oil sump is supplied with compressed air. Oil, to be used as operating medium, is moved to the inlet throttle and from there into the retarder circuit between the moving rotor and the fixed stator. Through its rotary motion, it accelerates the oil and builds up braking torque. The rigid stator redirects the oil and moves it back to the rotor. Result, the rotor, and therefore via the step-up gear train, the prop shaft, is decelerated. The vehicle is decelerated. During braking with the retarder, the kinetic energy of the vehicle is converted into heat and dissipated to the oil. Via an oil-water heat exchanger and the vehicle cooling system, the oil is then recooled. During braking, the engine does not burn any fuel. This means there is no additional combustion heat. This means that the cooling capacity of the engine is exclusively available for the retarder. Temperature sensors at the electronic control unit, ECU, monitor the system and therefore exclude the risk of overheating. Advantages and facts that speak for the Foyt retarder. More safety, thanks to higher braking power at any speed and safety reserves that allow shorter braking distances because the service brake is cold, which means that maximum braking power is available. In this way, Foyt retarders make a significant contribution toward meeting the legislation ECE R13 in Europe, respectively GB 7258 and GB 12676 in China. More economy, thanks to higher average speeds, fewer workshop stops, lower vehicle operating cost, for example, because of fewer brake repairs and significantly reduced costs for spare parts and tires, lower weight, due to offline technology, fast payback, total cost of ownership, and last but not least, advantages when the vehicle is sold on.